Hey guys, we are on the UE4 SS Test Sync Map Injector mod page on Nexus Mods. As always, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so you guys can follow along with everything that I'm doing. And if you do like this mod, please, please endorse it. Okay, well, what is UE4 SS Test Sync Map Injector? Well, it's going to be one of those mods that kind of does things behind the scenes. It's not super impressive to show off. There's not really a big demoableness about this mod. Um, what's really going to happen is it's going to be something that other mods are going to require in order to behave correctly. So let's take a look at what the requirements are here and you'll see what I mean. So this mod of course is going to require UE4 SS for Oblivion Remastered. I will leave a link in the description down below for my video covering how to get that installed manually. Uh, it should make sense that this mod is going to require this mod. But as you look down here there is a huge amount of mods that are already requiring this mod. And they just won't function correctly if you don't have this mod installed. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty funny. I'm going to have to check that one out. That is pretty awesome. But, uh, man, that is a long list of mods that are going to require this. And to be completely honest with you guys, I thought I had already covered this in a previous video. And then I noticed that uh, I didn't have anything. <laughs> so that's why this mod video is coming out now and not, you know, three or four weeks ago whenever this mod was first introduced. But yeah, let's get into installation real quick, guys. And as you can see, there is a installation guide here. Um, this, this is pretty straightforward with the manual installation. You download it, you unzip it, and then you drop the files in your base Oblivion Remastered directory. Um, he has different versions here, I noticed. Let me go up here and go into files. He has two different versions. Uh, very fortunate for a lot of people out there that watch my videos who are stuck with the Game Pass version of the game. I think that most mods are very compatible with Steam and have some kind of issues with Game Pass. So that is a little bit unfortunate. That's just kind of the way that the modding scene has gone. But a couple of mods like this are very nice and have a good Game Pass compatibility version or um, have installation instructions for Game Pass. This just happens to be one of those mods. So if you have Game Pass version, go ahead and download this one. I have the Steam version, so that's the one that I'm going to go with. And I really don't like the idea of downloading this thing manually. I think when new updates come out, you're going to want a mod manager to handle all of those updates. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go with the mod manager download. Uh, as you can see here, it is again reminding us that UE4 SS for Oblivion Remastered is absolutely required for this mod to function. Again, I have a link in the description down below linking to my video covering how to get this installed. So if you don't already have UE4 SS for Oblivion Remastered installed, please follow that guide before doing anything else in this video. All right, last warning, guys. Okay, so now we're going on to download. And I'm going to do the free slow download option. And if we look here in Vortex, you can see UE4SS Test Sync Map Injector Steam is now installed and enabled. And that is it, guys. It's really, really that simple. If you have the Game Pass version, it is largely going to be the exact same process, which is super nice. I'm very happy that this mod exists and allows a bunch of other mods 
to actually behave correctly. All right, guys, with that out of the way, happy modding and happy Mondays. Hey, guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I really appreciate it. And I hope it was very helpful showcasing this mod and showing how to install it. Um, I'm really hoping that we can get this channel growing so that we can uh, show as many people as possible how uh, easy it is to install some mods and showcase some really good mods that some hardworking people come up with. Um, in order to do that though, I, I'm really going to need you guys' help. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with as many people as you can. We'll try to get this channel growing, and hopefully it helps as many people as possible. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.